This is Charlie on the hunt, and I'm kind of fearful he's gonna win. Charlie, I think he's hunting chipmunks, not mice. If you guys watch our other videos, I've mentioned mice before, but when we're going in from spring to summer, and it's on this side of the house, my neighbor has a um, herb vegetable garden on the other side of this fence. And so it's a perfect spot for chipmunks to have a nest or whatever. And the chipmunks have been making noise, but it stopped after I started recording. Bub, how about you where the chipmunkies live today and when we go, go smell and do our fangs? What bays? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Well, where are they? I hear them. Well, Chiggy hears them too. Chiggy's in on the action. Oh yeah, there went. Ooh. What is it, Bub? Is it a chip monkey? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> well, do not catch the chipmunkers. Oh, maybe he doesn't. Woo. This is why we keep your rabies vaccination up to date. Oh, and Chiggy's on one too. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I hope this is a chipmunk and not a bunny. Mm-hmm. Oh, Chiggy. Chiggy didn't get it. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Your cheese on it, Woo. But where did yours go? One for each of you. My goodness. My goodness. Oh, it's nice to have some hostas protect the ems. So Charlie is usually more successful than Trig, which is very, um, he's a better hunter uh, than Trig. But Trig's a better athlete, so I don't know. Maybe I've been saying that wrong all these years. Woo. When Charlie gets... he, I think in one of the videos I was that I have on YouTube, I was talking about him catching a mouse and releasing it, and somebody wrote on the video, we had shrews in our yard, like S H. R E W shrews in our yard and that's what um, their cat had been catching and so I looked it up and I was like oh my gosh that is what Charlie's been catching so it's kind of a sad thing because um, Charlie is so proud so proud of himself when he's done it and he you know trots around with it in his mouth and he's a very very proud kitty and here I am yelling at him to drop it and release it he does release it for me, by the way. There's no way I could watch the killing process. Web. And then there are those that are like, why are you allowing your cats to do this? The reason why I allow them to do this, I think, I don't know if I've ever just really thought it out. Um, If I was inside all day, and I was a cat, and my one opportunity was to chase rodents outside, I'd love it. So I think that's one of the things, one of the reasons. Number two, chipmunks are not in short supply. Um, that is why they reproduce and reproduce quickly. Reproduce in mass, I should say. We are in our yard. So um, they're not roaming free. But why else do we do it? It does allow them to have the hunt play instinct, um, which helps their brain, their body, makes them want to eat more when we go inside. Man, his ears. His ears, he lost a lot of ear hair or ear hair and they were red, but now the redness is gone and I think the ear hair is growing back. 
Bob. Bob, oh no one there's a, there's a chipmunkers in the ears. Gow. Gow, are you on the nest? You're on the nest? Whoa. You should go get one of those ones. Whoa. Alright guys, well, probably as soon as I stop recording, one will be caught. I do, in a sick way, want to get video footage of Charlie um, trotting one, with one in his mouth. Because he's so proud. Man, he is so proud when he catches them. Whoa, you're up to date on your rabies shots? Whoa! Alright, whoa Bye, guys. We will see you next time. Did you just want to say goodbye to everybody on the YouTubes? Say thanks for watching us be unsuccessful in catching rodents. Jig! Oh, I think you should go smell. Like, go smell and enjoy the air and not kill rodents. Okay.